In this video, I'll be going over how to customize Smokeping running on a Synology NAS. This video is a follow-up to an earlier video I created on how to monitor network latency and internet speeds with Smokeping, so check that video out if you haven't set up Smokeping yet. The link is in the description below. Also, thanks to Dr. Konya for suggesting I create this video in the comments of that earlier video. The first thing I'd like to do is go over what the default SmokePing site looks like after installing and running the jwiggly SmokePing speed test docker image. I still have the container running from the earlier video and we can see that the sites being monitored are broken down into a few sections and subsections. Charts dynamically changes depending on what sites are being monitored. Internet Sites monitors a few well-known websites. Various sites in Europe are monitored, which are further broken down by country. A few sites in North America are monitored, along with a few well-known public DNS sites. DNS probes monitor those same public DNS sites, except this probe measures name resolution, lookup latency, rather than ICMP ping latency, like the previous sites being monitored. Lastly, the speed test probe runs an hourly speed test measuring download and upload speeds. Now here is the customized smoke ping site that I'll be showing you how to configure later in the video. Under internet sites, I'll be reducing the list of sites being monitored to just YouTube, Google, and one of Google's public DNS servers. I've added a Manage Site section with subsections for both external and internal sites that I manage and would like to keep track of. For DNS probes, I'm monitoring name resolution lookup latency for just one external public DNS server, along with monitoring an internal Pi-hole DNS server as well. For the speed test probe, I changed the test to run every half an hour instead of every hour like the default setup. My hope is that the changes that I go over will give you a good starting point in customizing and personalizing your SmokePing setup. I'll also link to SmokePing's example page in the description below to provide you with additional examples you can use to configure SmokePing. To customize SmokePing, we'll need to use the command line. So we'll need to enable SSH by going to Control Panel, Terminal and SNMP, enable the SSH service, and click Apply. I'll click OK on this warning message, and now the SSH service is running. I'll likely disable SSH when I'm done with this video, but if you plan to leave SSH running, consider securing the service. And I cover securing SSH in my video on configuring and monitoring a Synology NAS with SSH, which I'll link to in the description below. Now I'll SSH into my Synology NAS, change directory to where the SmokePing configuration files are located, and list the contents of the directory. The two files that we'll be working on are the probes file, which contains the configuration of the various probes or tests that SmokePing can run, and the targets file, which contain the sections and layout that you'll see when viewing the SmokePing site as well as the probes and corresponding sites that will be monitored. I'll first edit the probes file, which, as mentioned earlier, contains the configuration of the various probes that are available for us to use. For the purposes of this video, the only change required is the speed test step line, where I'll change 3600 to 1800. This is the number of seconds between running the speed test probe, which changes the setup to run the probe every half an hour rather than every hour. I'll save the changes made to the probes file and exit out of the editor. For the targets file, instead of editing it directly, I'll rename the original file, create and edit a new targets file, and paste in the configuration that I'll be using, which I'll provide for your reference in the description below. The targets file contains most of the customization to SmokePing, so let's go through the file to understand the setup. First, the fping probe is declared at the top of the file 
and will be the probe that is used until another probe is declared. The top menu along with the title and remark is what you'll see when you first load the smoke ping site. Below that is a declared section which is defined by a plus sign then the name internet sites which also has a corresponding menu and title. Note that these declared sections and subsections or menu items can't contain any spaces when you name them. Next, you'll see the entries for the internet sites I'd like to monitor. Each is considered a subsection under the internet site section, so they're declared with two plus signs and each has a menu, title, and hostname entry. Manage sites is the start of another section which has two subsections defined with two plus signs and each contains its own menu and title. Under these subsections are the host entries that will be probed and these entries are defined with three plus signs. Next is the DNS probe section which also defines the DNS probe on this line here. This again changes the probe being used until another probe is declared. I've also defined two subsections with each host being monitored listed under each subsection respectively. Speed test is the final section created with two subsections listed under it for download and upload speed tests. These both have their own probes defined as well. I'll save the changes made to the targets file and exit out of the editor. Now with all of the customization done, I'll head back into DSM, bring up Docker from the main menu, and restart the SmokePing speed test container. I'll then bring up the SmokePing site in a new browser tab, and I get this error message telling me that the upload.rrd file must be deleted, or the configuration parameter is fixed. We get this error because of the change to the speed test probe earlier in the video. I'll head back into the terminal and delete the upload.rrd file. I know I'll get a similar error for the download.rrd file, so I'll delete that file as well. Now, if I reload the smoke ping site again, the site loads fine with the customizations we've added showing up properly. Hopefully this video on customizing smoke ping running on a Synology NAS helps you personalize your setup and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also consider subscribing to this channel and check out some of my other videos listed here on screen. Lastly, check out the support this channel section in the description below where you can buy me a coffee if you would like and which would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching.